The dance we show you is an adapted version. It has six parts. The first part is what we call the nodding. The nodding starts by we look together to the right. Then we turn the head to the left side. We come back to the center. Then we look at each other. And we nod to each other as if we agree we dance together. We come back to the center. We turn to the other person. And we also nod. With the rhythm, this gives one, two, three, four, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you see, it's quite important to turn the head quite sharp, like, and chuck, chuck, chuck. The next thing we will show you is called positions in a fan. It's a part of the structure where a movement is traveling from one side of the group to the other side of the group. Uh, we all start together with an A and a stop, and then the person on one side of the group will start with a B stop, and the other persons, they won't move, they only will join the person in this position of the stop. Then the second person will come with in the C, the third person in the D, and the fourth person in uh, the fourth person in in the D. Sorry. So as long as you don't move, you always join in this stop and in the drop. You always go from here, back to there, back to there, until it's your turn to join the fan. Yeah, but we will show you. We do the A together. Then I go to the B. She will join me in the stop, and then we go together in the C. Yeah? There we go. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, of course, we would go to the D where the third person would join. Uh, Okay, that's the positions in the fan. The next structure we will uh, explain to you is called the chipotage. It's a French word that means uh, a bit of everything, a complex thing. Uh, we adapted it a little bit so that it's a bit more easy to, to do. Uh, and we work with a system of two groups. One group will do a stop while the other group is repeating the A, and then that changes. The other group makes a B stop and uh, while the other group is repeating the B and so on. The same for the C, the D, and the E. We don't apply this uh, structure onto the F. Yeah? We will show you. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and one. And then we would continue with this. The next um, uh, phrase we will show you, we call it the phrase in unisono, and it's a phrase where you do A, B, C, D, uh, A, B, C, D, E, and F in a row, like one follows the other. Um, it will take three times eight counts, and it goes a little bit faster than what you have been doing before. Um, before you would have four counts for each move, and now you have three counts for each move. And in fact, you only cut like one count of suspension. For example, in the A, we were doing one, two, three, four. The four you will cut, so you will do one, two, three. And the same thing for the B. Right? We would do one, two, three, and we would cut the four that we were uh, taking here extra. So the movement stays the same, only you take away the suspensions. Uh, we're going to show you. Yeah? One, two, three, Four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, you stay, five, six, seven, eight. The next structure we will show you is called the big fan. And in the big fan, each movement is traveling through the group. So for example, we start all together in the A, and then num person number one starts with a B, and it's traveling through the group, takes with person two, three, and four, and then person four is gonna give um, the next movement, movement C, it's traveling through the group, and then the D comes from the other side and goes on like this for D and E and F as well. Okay, so we're going to show you, we're just two people, but we're going to imagine number three and four are there as well. Yeah, so we go together, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. I give the B, two, three, four, person two comes with me, the third person comes also with in the B, the fourth person comes with, and the fourth one gives now the C. And number three goes within the C. And then Teresa goes in the C. And I join as well in the C. And then I would, uh, logically, I would give, again, uh, I would give the D. It travels through. Okay.
The last structure we're going to show you is called the phrase in reverse. So it means we will start with the E, not with the F, but E, D, C, B, and A. And we only take the first move of each cell. And then we make a stop. And the stop is not the one like this that we have been doing until now, but the stop is the same leg, right leg crossed over the left, and your arms like this. And it's really like you, you squeeze your arms and your legs together, and it's up, and then you slowly release like this. And you're going to drop your hand on count number seven. That's always the same, uh, the same system. We make the first move on the one, and then the stop is on two. You have three, four, five to stay. Six, you, rela you relax, and on seven, you drop your hand. So this system we will do with the E, with the D, with the C, and with the B. And for the A, there is a little difference, but we're going to show you the following. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and for the A we're gonna do one, two, cross your legs, three, four, and drop, five, six, seven, eight. This is also the position you will start the structure with. So you end like this and you begin like this.